Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Modlock. Last time we did Andromeda, this time we are jumping in again as Tainted Andromeda. This is the character that we have essentially been waiting to die as. And today we're probably going to do Beast or Mother. I would bet that Beast is going to be the best way to go, to be honest. I feel like um, anything else would be a little difficult. If we can get Boss Rush, it would be pretty fantastic. But uh, as this character, Boss Rush is, is but a pipe dream. I, If I can get it, I will, but I very highly doubt I'll be able to. I would like to get these chests opened, like, available, but I'm not going to play the long game for too long. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm just going to go for this, and I'm so glad that I did... Holy, um, obviously that doesn't give us any consumables, That's, I was kind of hoping for consumables, but just getting damage is enough for me to be happy. Singularity on the first floor, normally you just get one from the boss room and that's about it. We'll see if we can find our uh, secret room as well, um, if possible. Random dice effect. Um, random dice effect. I'm trying to think what would be good as a random dice effect. In fact, I don't think any of them could be good. So I'm just not going to take that. Because I don't want it to accidentally re-roll my item. Because although it's only one item, it is a damager. And I want it. I want to keep it. So let's not do that, shall we? But yeah, if we can find a secret room... Oh, we got, we've got two... Yeah, I think Excel floors are pretty bad on this. Because you lose out on a, a... Oh, wait, no. Do you get two double charges for the boss rooms? Maybe you do. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Um, but I would very much like to find my secret room, but with it being an XL floor, that is a little bit harder. But I think after my last mistakes as this character, you know, I say that and immediately get hit. I shouldn't be as bad as last time. I, I just do what I did there too often, where I get too close to an enemy to try and hit them and just get hurt. Um, that was a, a very prime example of me being big special, but hey ho, there it is. Okay, good. You're taken care of. And you are as well. Chests are the best thing we can possibly get here. More consumables. We'll probably go and get that other grey chest with one of these bombs. Because I, I don't know if we're going to end up finding secret room on this floor. I'd, I'd rather not waste the bombs trying, to be honest. XL floors are notoriously pretty difficult for, um, for finding them. Okay. Also, XL floor does make boss rush a little more plausible, which is kind of nice. Right, let's quickly just zoom back this way. And um, grab this chest. And also, I burp there, sorry. Also do this other room over here. And for the question of the day today. For the question of the day today. Dice bag. Yeah, we'll take dice bag. Dice bag can be pretty fun. It's, it's always a bit of a risky one, but I, I quite like it. And it lets us do stuff like this with a D7. Where we can redo the room to try and get a reward. And we got a key. Perfectly reasonable. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We don't want to waste charge with our boss. We're going to come out and use it straight away. Our singularity, that is. Just make sure we don't accidentally use a random dice, because I'd rather not accidentally re-roll myself. I could bomb all these pots in the hope for coins, but I think the bombs themselves are probably more valuable. Okay, so this is not a particularly hard boss for us. The flies can be a little problematic once they swarm you, but he will die very, very quickly with the damage we have. And also the flies die very, very quickly as well, so... Not so bad. So we'll get this charge here, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to pop out here and then just use it. Lodestone's fantastic. I'll 100% take Lodestone. And then we get Horn here, which isn't so bad. I think the ghosts are going to end up maybe hitting me if I'm not careful. That actually wasn't so bad at all. And then this guy, I don't really know what to think. I think Lodestone is going to be slightly helpful with sucking the tears towards him, but I, I don't really know how useful it's going to be. Is this the guy that spawns spiders? I never remember which version this is. Yes, it is. Okay, there you go. Not too bad. And then we will grab that. And we'll go in here. Pop that. False PhD is actually pretty fantastic. Off doesn't do anything for us. Just because we want to be taking pills on this guy regardless and knowing what they do helps. Um, we said we we're going to go do Beast here. I think that's better. I'm just going to ignore Mother. Mother's very tough as this guy. The D6 in this room. Um, yeah, if we can get uh, more pills and get Black Hearts out of that, the Black Hearts themselves are probably the most important part of it. 
but the damage ups are pretty impressive too. And just being able to know what pills do, because um, we want to be using them for the charges regardless, is is a, a, a nice little addition for us, should we say. We want to be doing this, definitely. Um, ooh, Maggie's Faith is, is significantly better than Dice Bag. Dice Bag can be good, but if we don't need to reroll, which obviously right now we don't, it's not necessary. I did get hit there, unfortunately, but this is why I'm taking Maggie's Faith. It's only like one heart per floor with the Eternal Hearts. But one heart per floor is um, one heart per floor. <laughs> it is exactly what I said it is. It's nothing more, it's nothing less. We've also got another charge here, so I'll pop this. And cute baby's fine. I really should be waiting. Oh, hmm. Gen I've actually got a little bit of an idea, you know. Okay, I'm going to take Dice Bag for now, because I'm just thinking... Okay, Planetarium's rather nice here. I should have held my charge looking for that, to be honest. But we should hopefully get another charge this floor regardless, and we'll definitely get one from our boss. Um, ooh. I was like, that's so good. <laughs> Funny game. Funny. Um, we got a Tainted Treasure Room here already as well. Um, but yeah, I'm sort of thinking that maybe we can use Dice Bag to get like a D6 in one of the rooms and then use that to reroll any bad items because we can choose which rooms they spawn in, right? That seems like a reasonable way to do things for, to me. Seems like a, a good way of uh, getting around it. And we got one more Bernie over here. Crack that open, beautiful. So I will check this out and see. Oh, I always forget this. I mean, it was still valuable anyways because we got um, pills and stuff. Speed down. I'm going to take for the damage up because I think right now the damage up's more valuable. And then we can go to our planetarium and use an item. So that was still valuable to go into regardless. I don't think I'll end up using that to spawn anything, to be honest, because I don't know what it's going to spawn. Um, Soul is... It's not incredible, but it does always reveal the boss location, which I'm pretty gra uh, pretty grateful for. Um, and generally just being able to um, get the extra status after the boss if you want to do the boss first is kind of nice. I always get hit by the split shots when I'm playing as him Andromeda as this guy here. Against these enemies here, sorry. It's just kind of hard to manage them. This we shouldn't have too big of a trouble with not getting hit on. We've just got to stay in our lane, essentially. Oh, there's, there's spikes in the middle of the room that are underneath the pole. That is one problem with this character that I have that I that, that I really think needs to be addressed. That you just cannot see what's under the portal. And whether it's a stone or, or a spike or whatnot, it's so infuriating when you like take damage because there's like a rock you didn't see or some shit. It's just like, what do you do against that? There's like not much you can do to counter that. It's bullshit. That was, that was rough. This is a really rough room for us, actually. Just because I can't bloody hit these guys very reliably. As you can see, I'm missing every single shot that I'm firing. Okay, there you go. So yeah, we're taking damage right now. That's not great, but I, I I think with false PhD, we should be kind of okay. But for example, we got a D6 in this room. If we had had a charge, it'd be really useful to then utilize that charge in this room so that we can reroll the item if it ends up not being any good. That farmed us some charges. For very, very nice. We obviously, we want to use another charge in the planetarium here. That's our main goal here. Do not like having willows on this floor. Oh god, you were you spawned so late. I can't hit you either. God damn. Okay. Obviously, this this gives us the chance of missing boss rush here. In fact, let's just go and grab. Oh wait, it's a it's a broken planetarium now. Anyway, is what I'm on about. I always do that. I always forget it changes straight away into a broken planetarium. Why? Why would I stand there? So many places I could have stood for that not to have happened. Okay.
Lodestone's also really good for basically getting Herming Bombs. Very nice for that. Still haven't found our secret room item yet. I'm not super worried about that right now, to be honest. That's secondary right now. Okay, y'all taken care of, beautiful. We get that going on. We do get an angel deal. Um, with an eternal heart, rather nice. And then Trinity Shield's decent. And I genuinely don't know what this does for us. Was this good? I, I, I got the shield and I just kind of got, like, sidetracked into taking it. It doesn't seem to be that useful, like, because it kind of just ruins the character a bit. I mean, it's, I guess it makes it safer. We've got a Soul of Azazel here. Double our bombs, why not? Soul of Azazel, I'll just take. Um, Judgment, I'll just use. Okay. I guess. <laughs> I guess then. Right, we're down to the next floor. Yeah, so we're going to go Beast, but Beast with Spirit Sword is a little tricky. Yeah, Beast with Spirit Sword seems like it's one that could be a little iffy. But Spirit Sword in general, pretty darn good early on. And it it allows us to avoid a lot of the annoyance of this character. But it's a little it's a little bit sad that it doesn't have any specific synergies other than the Spirit Sword shots rotating around us. I thought it was going to be a bit special, but... I think if you get Trinity Shield and um, and Spirit Sword put next to each other in front of you, it's kind of a sign, right, that you must take it, because now we're immune from the front when we're swiping at enemies, and I feel like that's just incredible. Yeah, I feel like that's just awesome. Right, keep going. I'd still like to do Boss Rush. I don't know if it's going to be plausible with the current health we're on. The t timing wise, it should be reasonably plausible. This is a good D12 room. Honestly, we need to remember how insanely valuable it is having Trinity Shield. We, we can essentially walk up to an enemy and just, just hit them. That's rather nice. Yeah, like, not, not every enemy, obviously, but a lot of enemies we can now just kind of walk up to and not worry at all about getting hit. Because in the front, we can't get hit. Pretty awesome. <laughs> so we could get another reflected item, a uh, thingy, um, reverse item, whatever you want to call it, tainted item. But again, it will cost us. We do have golden keys, though, so we should at least open the door to see if it gives us anything. And it did. This is another speed down. For a damage up. I don't think that's worth it. Shot speed down, however, we do not care about. We'll definitely take that. Right. We'll just keep going. We do have it available here. Um, do we want to risk it? I'll risk it. I'll risk it. Um, This is for Lodestone. Tears. Let me just pick up this because it's annoying the hell out of me. Okay, I can't anyways. Um... Tears have a, a chance to inflict enemies with repulsion. Enemies inflicted with repulsion are forcefully pushed away from the player and take damage quickly. Um, sh shoved and quickly when sh take damage when quickly shoved um, into other enemies and walls. I'm gonna give that a go. I don't know if that's gonna be good for us or not. Just because pushing us away while we have the sword seems bad, but also it seems fun. It seems like a lot of fun, actually. Right. Keep it going. Remember, we have this Soul of Azazel if we want to use it at any point as well. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. No matter to what you say. Paralysis for a black heart. Hell yes. False PhD is very, very good for us. Also, we can... There was a there was a bomb in the middle of this room. Didn't see it. Didn't know it was there. Ackle Dam is fine, we'll take that. Might as well use this to pick it up at a slightly longer range. A few extra charges from that. 
Didn't want that at all. That is one thing that's really annoying about Spirit Sword. Oh, couldn't get away from it. Couldn't get away from it. Did, that, did you hit yourself with your own bomb there? Dude, you went straight down into me? You don't normally do that. Don't know what my health's looking like right now. Went for it, and I'm pretty glad I did. Speed is a bit of a problem right now, so I'm glad we've got that back. Let me go down. Yeah, health is still a massive issue for us. Getting a lot of golden pennies, which I very much like. Hierophon definitely helps our health issues a little bit. I'll be popping that. Swarm's really nice here for protection. Is it pins? Yes, it's pins. Yeah, swarms are a really good addition to this. That's just a half pill. God damn it. This is quite fun, actually. I just don't know how this is going to fare against the beast. I really don't. Oh my god. Also being able to swipe away Ice Baby. I've not noticed the knockback item thing triggering yet. Maybe it's a little more subtle than, than I'm imagining it being. I'm imagining it to be quite a forceful effect, but I don't know. So far, it doesn't seem to be. Definitely hasn't happened to any bosses yet. Oh, I walked right inside. Okay, it happened to that guy then. It forced him over that gap. Nice. Item room. I was about to say item room, where are you? I don't need my item room. What am I on about? Obviously, these enemies are a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm trying to use my sword shots to get them if I can. Oracle Dharma. Set up a little Vega. <laughs> Set up a little trap for them. Shops rather nice to find here. Soul Heart is great. Paralysis again. I'll definitely take Paralysis for a Blackheart once again. And then Hermit is whatever. I mean, Hermit might as well just pop because it's a free charge. Think you already? Hey, I'm pretty happy with that. Increased fart size doesn't do anything for us now, but under the trinkets, slot is very good. Right, and now we can beeline straight to the boss. I think we can do boss rush with this setup. I feel like we can. This is a really annoying room, if I remember correctly. No effect. Fantastic. At least I can still spawn as this guy. Oh, I love it when we just hit the ice dude into everything and just destroy everything. Kind of brilliant. Like, as soon as we enter the room as well. Okay, boss time. Cage. D does um, range increase the range of the sword as this guy? I don't actually know. That didn't hit me, surprisingly. Oh, but I did hit myself by walking into him. Fantastic. Sanguine Bond is not great for us, obviously. Right. Um, and then away we go. We're, we're, in, we're in decent time here. We've not got a lot of time to do this floor if we want to do boss rush. Do not forget the fool card. Whatever you do, do not forget the fool card. Wait, can, can I hit this guy? I can't hit this guy. Okay, now I can, but it takes some effort. Right, 17 minutes. Use the soul of Azazel if we need it. Shouldn't, but we might. That's a really good trinket there. We'll definitely take that. Okay, please say we go the right way here and stuff. I think this is a run that we can bash out boss rush. I'd love to. Okay, 
Cursed Penny, no thank you. Still no Tinted Skull, unfortunately. Thank you for the Soul Heart. I guess. You're not going to live for long, I don't think, but I'll take you. Damn it! We're going to miss Boss Rush. He's dead already. Damn you, game. We're going to miss Boss Rush. That's a real shame. We am guaranteed missing Boss Rush here because our goddamn tinted skull was nowhere to be found. Should have kept that goddamn hermit card, shouldn't I? Didn't think about that. Still don't know where it is. Come on now. Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Right. We might... We might make it. There is a small chance we make it, but I'm I'm saying that it's a very small chance because we're going to have about 20 seconds of fighting when we get in there. Okay, we made it. We're going to take this for now. We're going to pop this in here. Okay. That's actually not terrible. So pop pinking shears. Grab this. Actually, no. Just, just grab pinking shears. This is pointless. Also, two brimstone guys right off the bat. That's a... That's a real barrel ass. By the way, if we think we're going to die, if, 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 it, if it's getting to like 3 HP or lower, I really hate this first wave. This is horrendous as a first wave. Yeah, if we think we're going to die, just full card out of here. I'd like to complete this, but it's not worth dying for. Pinking she Pinking Shears is going to be super valuable because we can just keep using it. And kind of let it do its thing as well. I'm hoping because we've got champion bosses here, or some champion bosses by the looks of it, we should, should hopefully see some soul hearts. I do think once we get up to like maybe four or five Pinking Shears, we're going to be pretty golden. Try to look at what our other bosses at all times here, really. This guy's a pain in the ass. He's buggering off. There's a soul heart. I told you. These guys are going to give us soul hearts as well. Kill him as the second boss, actually. Give me that soul heart, boy. Yeah, pinking shears has, has, uh, has proven itself. Remember, Trinity Shield is here to save our day. Doesn't save us some brimstones, though. Obviously, as well, I'm getting RSI, like, real bad. Obviously, it'd be really nice if Pinking Shears would, like, do something, rather than just, like, pissing about near me. That tracking is, is ass. Ooh, we could get some Half Soul Hearts here. That would be the goal. We also can pop Singularity again for Blister Shot. Why not? Pinking. Let's get him. Is this Bomb Flies? Yes, it is. Okay, Pinking Shears, you're going to deal with the Bomb Flies. I don't want to have to do that. But so far, health is looking fine. Things are dying incredibly quickly. Pinking Shears was, like, one of the best things we could have gotten, I think. The Saken here is doing his thing. Yeah, look at that. Okay, let's kill you first. Oh my god, it's actually doing redonkulous damage. Watch this guy, watch this guy. <laughs> he just blitz him down. That's beautiful. I think we'll be keeping Pinky Shears. No, there you go. That was not that hard at all. <laughs> and then we can use this again, because why not? Sinus Infection is insane. And then we can full card out. 
Uh, quickly go and grab our rune, wherever it was. Charm of the Vampire doesn't help too much, but it is damage, so I guess why not. Does do coming in here do anything for us? No. I, I had to check. Right. Now we have the keys to the kingdom to do the beast. Um, we do have a trinket that we could leave somewhere, but I, I don't know if I need to bother with that. It would be useful, I suppose, to have a revive just in case, but I'm now kind of in a situation where I don't really want to do that. We'll see, we'll see. We still don't have a secret room item yet. It'd be nice to maybe grab one of those. Let's try do that. Another paralysis pill. Awesome. Okay, let's go and use this in a secret room, and then we'll vamoosh. Yeah, I forgot we still didn't have a secret room item. Haunted Rose is actually a pretty damn good one. For an on-damage effect, that is, it's pretty good. Um, and then we are out here. We are going to lose some damage here, unfortunately, but it's not actually that much. And we have everything we need, right? We don't need anything else. Let's just go. I'm not softlock myself or anything here. We do have Curse of Rebirth on this floor, which means we have to be slightly more vigilant about enemies, but they come back with a lot less health, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. I kind of felt that guy was going to hurt me, but it's fine. Let's see if we can utilize the shop here as well. I can't believe we got so lucky as to get Sinus Infection. That's such a huge grab for um, Beast. It's going to make it significantly easier. Also, our little buddy, I'm actually thinking that now he's a good grab because when you're going for the Beast, he's actually pretty easy to, um, to keep alive for the most part because the floor's so short. So we might be able to keep him alive a few times and get some Angel items. Awesome soul hearts if we require them. Oh, wait. Do we even bother going in here? Doesn't do anything for us, of course. Spelunker's hat? Don't think that does much for us. I, it shows us the room ahead. It gives us, like, one room of vision ahead of where we are. We do get the secret room. Yeah. Right. Not a big fan of this room, but shouldn't be too bad. Oh, what the hell's that? Uh, enemies can now drop spider eggs, pick up pickups on death. Picking them up will grant you a protective familiar that will drop spider. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Sounds very useful. Two black sacks. Down the sun. You got another soul of Azazel, which is kind of funny. I'm just going to pop this one. Whoa, that's cool. I'm moving so slow. Um, and then we grab the other one. We got a moon card here. Shot speed down, which doesn't matter. Shot speed down. Look down, which I'll honestly take as well. Amnesia spawns a black heart. Shot speed down's fine. Shot speed down. And then grab that again. Um, we might as well pop the half pill and this. I, try, I tried for an extra uh, secret room item at 50% chance. It didn't pay off. It's fine. I accept. Right, let's get out of here. Let's... Vamoosh. Good, good. I'm excited. This is an interesting run. It's gone. Just get over it. We really want to try and keep our little lad alive if we can. Time-wise, we can take our time here, so I'd like to get Singularity going if we can. And a Golden Penny is a good way to do that. 50% chance to give us a charge every time we pick it up. 
There's that little sack. It's cool. We have a lot of protection from ourselves getting hit right now. Like, a lot and a lot. Okay, that doesn't give us anything. I thought as much, but I had to try it. So this should give us uh, an item or something now. Awesome soul hearts. Glyph of balance. There you go. Okay, so now it's just Beeline City. Um, I'm a bit annoyed that I got hit there, but... we you got to remember we've got the bed waiting for us that's always going to give us three soul hearts, so... We can come down with three less than max and still be fat, like completely fine and happy. We got him again. Three soul hearts that time. Also, he's going to be giving us soul hearts on the regular, which is going to be quite nice. We'll be fine without you. Yeah, we can't get anything from that now by the looks of things. Another two soul hearts. I'd rather have items, my friend. But, oh, I died that time. But that is good. Because, I mean, if I get hit, I can go and grab a soul heart. Being able to do that's quite nice. Ah, oh, we don't need to be. Th we don't need to be here. I love the fact that you can bomb out of rooms in the beast <laughs> beast route. You really shouldn't be able to, in my opinion. I think it's pretty broken. But you can, and I'm happy for it. So we didn't get a little buddy this time around. He unfortunately Let perished. Explosives are a good way for him to die, too. Ah, oh, there you go. He died that time as well. Damn it. So close as well. Those enemies are bullshit. This is a labyrinth floss. This is it. This is the end. Hmm. I'm not super happy about this room. Don't dive at me. Wouldn't like it. It'd be unfair. Dinga, Kringa, whatever you want to call them. I don't know how I'm getting hit here. Like, I'm sorry, but I have Trinity Shield. That's like the whole point of Trinity Shield, right? Why, why am I getting hit by these shots? Dude! How am I getting hit by these shots? Is this not what Trinity Shield is supposed to avoid? It's very saddening to me. I feel like I should be blocking them and it's just going straight around them. I realize Trinity Shield isn't like a... A complete foolproof thing, by the way. I really hate this room. That didn't kill you? Wow. Okay. Um, I don't really know where I'm going at this point. I think I'm going this way. Okay, we're good. And we made it with less than, like, three hearts down, so we're at full health going into this next floor. Good, good. I don't know how well this is going to go, but I'm, I'm ready. That's a little cheeky to offer. I might go for that. Will it damage me for a full heart? I think it will, though. That's a little, that's a little much, I think. Nah, I'm going to leave you. Just a bomb. No thanks in the D100. Oh, mum's contact is one of the best things we could have gotten there. Beautiful. Right. Question is, where do we want to use Soul of Azazel? I think I definitely want to use Pinking Cheese here. Oh no, my baby died straight away. Bugger Tears here is going to be our main damage source, I think. Like, obviously the sword is going to do a lot too, but... Good. First phase has been slapped. Oh, 
Okay, that's not great, because now he's going to do this attack, which I'm going to say I now can't really avoid correctly. That was bad timing, but he is dead. <laughs> but that was not great timing. Do you remember we get a Holy Mantle here? I'm going to the beast fight. Pinking she is, I don't think it'll do much for us. Oh no, okay, it does actually attack, and we, we should stack up a few charges. Okay, and also we don't have to worry too much about the shots that you fire, because Trinity Shield should absorb the blow of the ma vast majority of them. He's just a little hard to get to, because we're so close range. Holy Mantle got hit there. Trinity Shield, you're useless. I trust you, and every time, you, you just slap me right in the face. You really do. Thank you, Charm of the Vampire, for healing me. I needed that. That's very annoying wall of poison there that I can't get through. Puked out flies directly on top of me. Look at all those little, um, little thingies ghosties though. The ghosties are pretty good. Let me get another charge of pinking shears. Okay, we got him through that phase real fast. Bugger tears are so good. Mum's contact is clutch as well. Poor Lee, Mum's contact is so good. Oh, death is slowed now. Ooh, tables have turned for you there, mate. Look at all those ghosts on him. Every time we get hit, he just spawns basically a bunch of damage to himself. So I think now we have more than enough to kill the beast pretty easily here. I'm just trying to get my pinking shears actually on this guy. I remember pinking shears have a really hard time latching to this guy because his hitbox isn't where it says it is. So you can see that they're just not bothering, even though they're right in front of him. Because, like, the actual where the boss is is not where it says it is. We should be using bombs as well here, because they can be ghost bombs. Try and not get hit so much, though. We are still trying to stay alive to an extent. That was bullshit. It's fine, it's fine. He's in his last phase. I've mostly hit myself on this last bit. Trying to use bombs. But there you go. The Beast Ascent Andromeda is done. Definitely a difficult one, but a very fun one. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.